If you know where to look in the furthest corners of YouTube, you can find some truly unsettling Minecraft videos, containing everything from strange, inexplicable anomalies to downright terrifying encounters with the paranormal. These are three of the creepiest, strangest, and most disturbing Minecraft mysteries from all across the internet, none of which I have ever covered before. So get comfortable, get ready, please consider subscribing subscribing and enjoy. This video has an innocent title. It's posted on a channel called Old Minecraft Videos Reuploads, which describes itself as old Minecraft videos that I uploaded with my cousin Hazel and my name is Aaron. The video itself begins as any normal let's play of a new world would. We assume that we're watching Aaron and he does the usual, mines a tree, crafts the essentials, and hears a random clay noise come from nowhere. This is the first anomaly of the video, but it only gets stranger from here. Aaron continues to progress normally until he discovers a zombie spawner. He takes his chances, goes in, and soon afterward dies. He recollects his gear, and the video ends. But that's normal, isn't it? Where's the strange part? Well, for that, we have to look into the description. We learn that this video was uploaded December 3rd of 2010, around the time that Minecraft Alpha 1.2.6 would have been out. But that's not all we see. Below that, hiding at the bottom of of the description is a link to an unlisted YouTube video. And this is where the real horror show starts. The video begins with Aaron mining stone until he turns around and heads towards a nearby cave. But before that, we get this odd clip. You can barely hear it, but there's a tiny high-pitched noise that plays for seemingly no reason. Aaron goes deeper, exploring the dark cave, until suddenly... The video itself is so dark, it's hard to make out what Aaron could have possibly seen down there, but whatever it was, it was definitely enough to spook him. From the description, we can see that this video was uploaded two days after the previous one, on December 5th, 2010, and Aaron says he's going to take a break from content for a little. Ten days later, on December 15th, Aaron drops another video, leaving the cave next to my house. The video seems to pick up where the previous left off, implying that Aaron hasn't joined his world since what we saw last time. He navigates out of the cave, and it's worth noting that the screen is for some reason stretched vertically. Aaron walks around and into another cave where he finds this, a single broken block of cobblestone on the ground. We never saw him break this block, nor was the video ever cut, which can only mean one thing. Aaron is not alone in this world. Something else is here with him. Aaron quickly leaves and keeps walking before suddenly Aaron freezes. He looks around into the fog, scared, before crouching down, digging a hole into the ground, locking himself in, and ending the video there. This just got horrifying. First the weird noises, then the broken blocks, and now finally this. The name is cut off, so we can't see who joined, but given that we can see that Aaron has the save and quit the title button, we know that this is a single player world, which would make sense as to why Aaron is so scared when he sees someone join the game. This video has no description, except for one link to yet another unlisted video. Exploring the haunted mine starts off with Aaron descending into another cave, and all around him we immediately notice something off. Holes. Lots and lots of holes. They don't seem to go anywhere, but they're dug all over the cave floor for no apparent reason. Aaron is clearly on edge here, so much so that when he takes damage, he's startled by his own hurt noise. He continues going down the cave, violently shaking the camera back and forth after hearing a cave noise. Aaron peers down yet another hole, and this happens. <coughs> Thank you. 
something just hit Aaron in, but we don't have time to think as Aaron comes face to face with a door that goes nowhere. He walks through it and suddenly the audio of disc 11 starts to play. In a rush, he pillars out of the hole and quickly exits the cave. He runs to what is probably his house and hides inside, closing the door. He goes down a ladder and into his basement and we're met with the final few seconds of the video where we can hear this. These videos just keep getting worse and worse. Now we know without a doubt that something else is living in Eren's world. Something that can hit him into holes, open doors, and something that is coming straight for him. But we don't know why just yet, nor do we know what the point of the doors and the holes in the cave were. Eren is just as confused as we are, and the description doesn't tell us much, so the only thing we can do is continue watching, as things are about to get even worse. The the title of the next video is strange, and I'll address it in a second, otherwise it has no description at all, no date, no nothing. At first, it's unclear where Eren is, but then it clicks. This is his basement, except totally blown up. Whatever entity is in his world, it clearly isn't done with him. Just like in the cave, we can see that it left weird holes in the floor, and when Eren climbs the ladder, we can see that the frame of his house is also totally broken. The entrance to the cave is now also also blocked off, and while Aaron is walking, this happens. He approaches a hole, disc 11 breathing noises start to play, and then black screen. And it cuts to him with no items and a stretched screen stuck inside a cobblestone box. The box has stairs to a viewing window, and Aaron looks out and we can see a sheared sheep and a half cut down tree. Aaron looks around for a little, punching out of the box, and almost breaks out, but for some reason stops himself. He stays like this until he gets frightened by a cave noise and disconnects. I'd say this video was odd, but you already know that it was. Something is happening to Eren. The entity keeps digging holes and destroying his houses, but we don't really know what it wants from him yet. But let's return for a second to the title of this video. To some of you, this may just look like random nonsense, but to a few of you, you may recognize it as ciphertext, code to be decrypted into legible words. However, for probably even fewer of you, you've probably already figured out what this actually is. This cipher is likely a hash. I won't go too far into what a hash actually is, but all you have to know is that a hash is a sort of code, and to decode it, you pretty much need a key or password. Without that key, it's nearly impossible to do any sort of decoding and solve the hash. So that's all to say, because we don't have any sort of password, the title of this video is forever unsolvable. Either way though, this doesn't stop us that much from finding out what's happening to Aaron, because the next video gives away a lot. The next video was recorded recorded in horrible quality, so I apologize in advance. Interestingly, the date in the description shows it was recorded essentially a month before all the other videos we've seen so far, and this time the title is actually decipherable, but you'll have to wait until we finish the video. It begins with someone loading up a new world. I'm unsure if this is Aaron, but let's just assume it is. When he gets in, he has no items, but somehow a long cobblestone tunnel with no end in sight is dug into the side of a mountain. Aaron does what what every horror protagonist is too stupid to do, and ignores the anomaly to go collect wood. But it looks like I spoke too soon, because the first thing he does is craft a door and goes right back to the tunnel to place the door on it. He opens the door, goes through, and walks inside. This video is strange, but it actually tells us a lot more about this story than you may think, and that comes in the form of the title. This time, the title isn't impossible to decode. Running it through a decoder, we get the phrase, the portal is opening. This is definitely odd, but gives us a lot of clues as to what's going on here. It could be that by putting the door on this tunnel, or just by going through it, Aaron has accidentally opened a portal from his game to somewhere, and it's my guess that 
that something, the entity that's haunting his world, has come out from the other end, using the portal to travel from its world to ours. But that theory doesn't have a lot of evidence, and to learn the truth, we have to watch the next video, because as usual, posted in the description of this one is another unlisted clip, The First Contact. The video takes place a week after the one we just watched, making it the second video in chronological order, and this time we get an original description from Aaron. People tell me in the comments to delete the world. I know what's going on. The video starts with Aaron in a house we've never seen before, but quickly figure out where we are. This is the same world as we just saw with the original tunnel. Aaron lights up the tunnel with a torch, goes a little deeper, and after a few seconds decides he wants none of that and quickly heads out. He goes back to the top of the mountain to light up his house before heading down the other side, and that's when we notice something odd. It looks like he just got back to the tunnel, but this isn't the same one. It looks identical on the inside, but the terrain is totally different because we're on the other side of the mountain, which means that apparently this tunnel just extends all the way through the mountain, which makes it considerably less threatening, but begs the question of why it exists. Seemingly not that phase though, Aaron heads back to his house, and while he's there, he pauses his game. Except we get this. building noises while the game is paused, and that's more than enough for Aaron to leave. One of the comments on the video says that at 2 minutes and 13 seconds you can see a figure in the background, but try as I might, even after increasing the brightness, I can't make anything out. But I don't need to see it, I heard it building. Something is absolutely in this world with Aaron, and it's been there for at least a month. But now we're on to the second to last video of this channel, and if you thought things were weird, well, you haven't seen anything yet. The video None was recorded December 1st of 2010, so the third video chronologically. The description is short and sweet. We're back on the same world, and after killing a cow, Aaron quickly notices that something is on the hill next to his house. A door. When he tries to go through it, nothing strange happens, but somehow he gets another idea. He walks back to his house and crafts a lever, and after placing it next to the door, Walking through the activated door suddenly takes Aaron to a completely different world, and a completely different version, Alpha 1.2.304. A minute later, and Aaron tries again. His movement has become erratic, and he seems scared of this oddly circular cave. Regardless, when he leaves the door again, this happens. It takes him to Minecraft 1.1.0, on an entirely new world. Aaron begins to swim to a nearby island before changing his mind and trying to go through the door again. But this time, it doesn't work. He's stuck. He can't go any further, and he panics, leaving the game and deleting the world, ending the video there. This video is by far the strangest we've seen, because there isn't anything horrifying as much as there is perplexing. There's no sound at all in this entire video, and what we just watched makes little to no sense. Doors that take you back in version is not something that happens every day, but just when you think you may have an idea of what's going on, you get hit with the last video. This creepy slideshow throws everything I thought I knew about this series for a loop. The biggest thing of all though is we finally get a glimpse of what might be the entity haunting Eren. A long, wiry frame with a distorted face. No wonder Eren was scared of this guy. If the images in the slideshow tell us anything else, it's that the doors that take you to other versions are a crucial part of this mystery, which finally somewhat explains what a door was doing at the bottom of the hole in the cave. Maybe that was the 
portal on how the entity got out and can get back in. But even if we can now guess that Eren accidentally opened a portal and let this horrifying thing into his game, it doesn't explain what the actual point of the doors is, nor what this entity wants from Eren. All we know is that Eren is trapped with the entity, and there's nothing he can do. And with that, there are no more videos left to watch on the channel, but that may not be where this story ends. Because after some digging, I found this. A sister channel seemingly run by Eren's cousin that he mentioned before, Hazel. But covering that would be way too much for this one video, so comment if you want a sequel where we take a look at that channel, and hopefully find a way to save Eren before it's too late. While playing Minecraft, we've all gotten the sense that it feels lonely, or maybe even creepily empty, that we're the only ones in this vast world. But when a cave sound plays, or the fog is just a little too high, it's easy to start to wonder if we're really alone. Well, this channel did more than wonder, and found something in their world they probably weren't meant to find. They begin their first video with this text. Okay, so I'm not sure sure what this is, but I found an entity slash mob that appears to be either a bug or unfinished feature. And as they're walking, we're quick to see what they were talking about. Suddenly, out of nowhere in the subtitles, it says this, a sound coming from something called hidden. And according to it, our player is being watched. The arrow on the subtitles show that it's to our left, and when the recorder turns, he starts to hear it better. He speculates that since he can't see anything making the noise, it might be an unfinished mob with no model yet, but why Mojang would put such a creature in the game is beyond me. But before we can think about it anymore, this happens. If we slow down what we just saw, we'll notice a few things. For one, and most obviously, the particles of where this thing just landed in front of our recorder, who for the sake of the video, I'll just call Alex. A second thing though, are the subtitles. They read hidden dot screaming, meaning that this thing is not an entity we've ever seen in Minecraft since nothing has ever made such a sound. There's also this weird text right above it, but if you're familiar with ciphers, you'll maybe recognize this one as a Caesar cipher. Shifting all the letters seven characters over, we get the phrase, how much do you know about Java? That's an odd question to put in the subtitles, but it's not all. In a blink and you'll miss it moment, the entity also inflicted some effect onto Alex. For just a second as it attacked him, Alex got affected with instant damage, so this entity has the ability to affect whoever it chooses. The rest of the video is just the same footage without Alex's messages, but it's clear that something is very wrong with his world. An entity that should not exist is stalking and attacking him, crashing his game as it does. To find out why, we have to keep digging. The next video, an investigation, is Alex hopping back on the world to try to figure out what's this thing that's living in his game. We see that his world is called I'm All Alone, which is a strange name for a world in the first place, but that's not important. The second he joins back, it turns out that whatever this thing was, it killed him before his his game crashed. And as any sensible person does, Alex opens the world to land so he can look around in creative. He also makes the smart decision to turn on hitboxes, because as he says, if this thing isn't invisible, it should have some sort of hurtbox, even if it has no model. Alex splashes himself with invisibility so he doesn't get spotted and begins to go on the hunt. And only after a little bit of time, there it is. A hitbox. No model, just an empty box of something. This proves without a doubt that there is an entity in Alex's world, but the question of what and why are still very big. Alex circles it for a little before leaving the scene and telling us he has to go to bed for school the next day. In the next video though, things are different. Alex tells us that the entity still hasn't despawned, and today he's going to try and trap it. He watches it for a few seconds before grabbing materials and constructing a trap. He tells us that his plan is to set up trap doors so the thing walks into a pit, and then as it chases 
forces him to place barriers so it falls in. But as he's doing some spying, the entity turns towards him. Alex quickly hides in the corner and drinks invisibility, though luckily it looks like the thing didn't spot him. The video cuts, and Alex shows us the finished trap. It's a simple pitfall, but if this thing is really just a mob, then it should be enough. So after making sure everything is in place, it was go time. The entity just lurches towards Alex and he quickly seals it off. We can see from the subtitles that it's not just screaming anymore, it's angry, and as Alex points out, he's not even being watched. But scary as this entity is, it's trapped. The pitfall actually worked. Unsure of what to do next though, Alex ends the video. These three videos have been exceedingly strange, and no, not just because Alex is probably the most sensible protagonist of all time. What we're seeing is a mob with no model that can can fly across gaps and do at least 20 hearts of damage with a single attack. This is unlike anything Minecraft has ever had, but what actually is it? Well, we still don't have enough information to figure that out, but luckily Alex does some testing in the fourth video. In video 4, Alex runs a bunch of different experiments on the mob. He first tries to make a copy of the world, but when he loads it up, he gets this message. So whatever hidden is, it can only exist in one world at a time, and will apparently transfer transfer to this copy. Alex logs back onto the world to find the creature trying to escape the barriers, but for now it does seem totally trapped. The first thing he does is try and name it with a name tag, and interestingly it actually works. He splashes it with invisibility and poison, and we see that this thing doesn't seem to take any damage at all. But this is where things get really weird. Alex tries to drop the entity items, and then this happens. It just eats it instantly, and this thing is starving. It doesn't stop eating carrot after carrot after carrot. So what is this thing? Why is it living in Alex's world, and why is it so hungry? Alex ends the video there, and disappointingly, that's where the videos have stopped. These four uploads are all we have of this channel, and there hasn't been a new video in three years. The nature of what entity Alex found in his world may never be known to the public. Public. But just in case, I decided to send an email to the address linked on his page. Maybe, just maybe, this mystery can be solved. Before we get to channel 3 though, if you are enjoying the video then please do consider subscribing. A ton of people watch these videos all the way through but never end up subscribing, so if you enjoy this kind of content and want to see more of it, it would help me out a ton if you could subscribe. It's free, and I promise you won't regret it. But let's get back to the story. I know I say this a lot, but this time you can hold me to it. TW is without a doubt the most cryptic channel I have ever covered in my life. I genuinely can't even explain it, we just have to watch the first video. For those of you who know what we're watching, you're probably being hit with a nostalgia blast, and for those who don't, this is the Minecraft tutorial world. The Minecraft tutorial world, likely the meaning of the name TW, were worlds that Mojang used to release for console edition whenever a new update came out to showcase all the new features and teach players how to use them. The world TU70, or Tile Update 70, is to my knowledge the final tutorial world Mojang ever released, and the newer features in this video confirms it. The video itself is nothing crazy, it's weird audio and video distortions over footage of someone touring the world. It's all consistently the same until the final second of the video when this happens. The screen zooms in, bugs out, and we get the text modern but not modern. This on its own is definitely weird and a bit creepy, but not really enough to give us anything yet. All we can do to figure out what this channel is, is watch the next video. The next video, TU41, has a very similar style. The screen flips a few seconds in, and we get the text turned around, but otherwise just another tour of a nostalgic tutorial world, specifically TU41. That is until 50 seconds 
seconds in when a cave sound plays in the background. Very out of place in this otherwise upbeat footage. Whoever is recording surveys the world around them for a few seconds before the text The Journey Has Only Started flashes on screen. Again, this is only a fragment, but now we're starting to get the sense that there's more to this channel than just creepy videos. TW is trying to tell us something through these tutorial world showcases, but what, and maybe more importantly, why? The next video, TU31, is an even older tutorial world, and it's worth noting that all these videos from here on out will go down in number as the tutorial world gets older and older. This video is another tour with weird glitches, a random cave noise halfway through, and flashing text at the end that says gone but not forgotten. But just when you think that this channel is going to be the same video over and over, it takes a far darker turn. The next video, TU19, has a slightly older look to it with all the filters, but this time we get some very strange audio. The beeps in the background are far too repetitive to be anything meaningful like Morse code, but this is the first time the audio has been this prevalent. And not only that, it looks like our character isn't just giving a tour anymore. The way they're looking around and sprinting almost makes it look like they're in some sort of hurry, or maybe even running away from something. This time we do get more text at the end, but instead of words, it's this. For the life of me, I can't read what this is trying to say. I don't know if it's numbers, letters, whatever it it is, I'm totally clueless, but it confirms that this channel is definitely hiding something. Something we can hopefully figure out by watching the next video. TU11 has the same weird beeps as before, but also considerably worse quality. The video ends with this weird series of glitches, but from what I can tell, no text appears at all. Even after more searching, I can't find anything of use in this video. The quality in the next video, TU5, has gotten awful, almost like this recording is corrupted. It continues like this for the whole video, and we get no message at the end. However, this time, something is different. In the description, we get seven numbers. Numbers that when converted from ASCII, give us the words, find it. Find what? If we combine everything we've gotten so far, it's been modern but not modern, the journey has only started, gone but not forgotten, and find it. Apart, these phrases don't mean all that much, but bring them together and you start to maybe get an idea of what the point of this channel is. But to fully be sure, we have to watch TU1. TU1 is by far the longest video we've seen, a four minute tour of the original tutorial world. It has the same weird audio beeps and even worse quality to the point where you can hardly make anything out. But a minute in, the screen goes fuzzy, and we get this. It suddenly cuts to colored footage of the world, and C418 begins to play. And that's it. The video just ends there. What started off as another horrifying video turned into a wave of nostalgia, and suddenly the point of this channel all makes sense. The description of this video is a cipher I'd never seen before, but running through an ASCII decoder and then running the result through another ASCII decoder gives us the word forever. Forgotten forever. This channel doesn't have any weird entities or strange events, instead it's a message, a tribute paying homage to the Minecraft tutorial worlds. The new ones are modern, but not modern, turned around and twisted versions of the older ones. The old tutorial worlds are gone, with some even forgotten forever. A part of Minecraft history that so many people grew up on, 
now lost to time. Many players have begged Mojang for the tutorial worlds to return, but to no avail. The TW channel is really just one of those players' way to say goodbye to one of the most important parts of their childhood, which makes the end of the final video quite fitting. The final video is a compilation of higher quality versions of all the videos we saw before, but with one other change. At the end of the video, we can hear this. And running the massive description through an ASCII decoder four times over decodes to I'm sorry. TW is saying thank you. The tutorial worlds are probably a part of history that we'll never get back. But if we cherish their memory, are they ever really, truly gone? But that brings us to the end of the stories. I hope you enjoyed watching, please do consider subscribing if you made it this far, and let me know if you like this style of compilation. But thanks for watching, peace out, have a good one, I'll see you next time.